Hi lovelies, welcome. This is my tutorial for the really kind of easy and relaxed Veronica Lake look. It's just a really nice simple haircut that you can wear all times of the year. It's really pretty, it's great date hair. I think I feel like I say that all the time. You can wear it on a date. I like good hair on dates. It's also a great base look to work with. You can then do an awful lot with your hair when it is in the style, which will be coming up in another video. Again, if there is a photo of mine that you've seen on Instagram or a video that I have on my YouTube where you really like my hair and want to see how it's done, then just let me know. Enjoy and let me know if you tried this look. Good evening, here I am getting ready for bed. I've washed my hair a few hours ago and let it air dry. There's just a slight dampness to the ends, the ends I really need to have cut. You will need a bowl of water with some Lotta Body Setting Lotion, it is one part lot of body to four parts water. We're going to be using two different sizes of hair roller today, the pink 3cm rollers and the blue 3.5cm. The pink roller is just for the front section, we're going to be rolling it backwards away from the face. We'll then take the hair on top and roll to the sides, and at the sides we'll also be rolling downwards. And the same at the back. Take one of your smaller rollers, dip it in the setting lotion solution, coat the front part of the section first and then the side you'll be rolling down. We want to make large waves, not tight curls, so from here on we'll be using a lot of hair per roller. Some fun facts about Veronica Lake. To improve her hair, she gave herself daily 10 minute head massages, rubbing her scalp all over with the tips of her fingers. The night before drying shampoo, Veronica would apply a tablespoonful of melted butter to her scalp with a cotton cloth. She'd then go to sleep with her hair wrapped in an old towel. We're using the smaller pink rollers again for the underneath at the back to give a little lift. Since my hair is longer, the wave isn't as pronounced if I use blue, but we are still using the blue at the sides. Oh, the clips on new rollers always pop off very easily. And we're done. On with the stretch hairnet. And our headscarf. Beautiful. This is basically the same technique as in my how to tie a vintage head turban video, but with a smaller scarf. Early morning puppy cuddle starts everything off well. Good morning, time to take off the scarf and reveal all. <gasps> oh wait, hang on, still wearing a hearing aid? Take that off. Ooh, and I left a pin in, delightful. Right, to take these out, you can see how set and shiny the curls are with the lot of body. First thing is to break the ringlets up with your fingers. We're not after the Shirley Temple look here, I'm sorry. Now grab a tangle teaser or another stiff plastic brush. Even a massive coat if you have the patience for that. I don't. Whilst I brush through, here are some more interesting things about Veronica Lake. Veronica's hair look was to have her hair drooping over one eye seductively. This happens to me a lot, but it's less luxurious and more... I'm just blind in that eye so I can't. The look was wildly popular, but it is a bit of a hazard, and during the war the US government asked her to pose for a series of photographs illustrating the dangers of her hairstyle to girls working in factories. She did the patriotic thing, put up her hair, and accidents fell by 22%. 22%. She apparently found her own hair annoying in real life as well, getting it trapped in buttons, jewellery, and once a lift door. As a chain smoker, she also had an unfortunate habit of setting her own hair alight. 
but the look was written into her contract and she couldn't change it. I've modified the look slightly to give you the use of both eyes. You're welcome. This look is very silky and sleek, so a glossy spray of argan oil is a must. Oh, as long as you don't spray it in the opposite direction. Get out your bristle brush and smooth those glorious fades. Veronica's hair was naturally straight at the roots, then wavy at the ends, but she pin curled the front. I find velvet a lot easier to use since they're not so fiddly, take far less time and still give a bit of bounce to the hair. And then, because clearly one smoothing product isn't enough, here's a second to make our ends extra glossy. Fabulous. Now to deal with the front. Brush it out, we don't want a poodle. We're going to be creating some gorgeous waves using just Kirby grips. We could use metal wave clips and alligator clips, but I'm pretty sure Veronica wouldn't approve of that fussy solid look. Ah, okay, now I need a mirror. Excuse me a moment. And it's hairspray time! Go crazy with it! Dance break while it sets. Also, yay, sugar-free Ribena. Right, as I said, Veronica's look isn't about being stuck up and perfect. It's about beautiful waves and not getting your hair in your face. Wear this look with confidence and you'll have done it perfectly. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more. I've loved making more hair and makeup videos for you recently, so let me know which looks you'd like to see more of.